Hello there and welcome back to the Master Moldy channel. Now, returning viewers will have been waiting, I think it's almost a week at this point, for this video. But today I am predicting 2025 LEGO Star Wars sets. Well, about half of them based on their prices. And we're starting right off right away with the £12 set. Chances are there'll probably be a few of these next year around the £12-£13 price mark add. I think a microfighter is guaranteed, but I would love to see another one of the Starship mechs. The same style as Luke Skywalker, perhaps get another character. It would be cool if they did something like a Mando N1 mech, which I have just over here I have made and there is a video on it if you do want to check it out based after his N1 Starfighter. They could also do the Razor Crest, but that got blown up quite some time ago. But with the Mando and Grogu movie coming out, it would be a great opportunity to take that next step for mechs and try and get Grogu in the same mech. Now, the Microfighter I have picked because it is a Microfighter rather than a mech. I've already done quite a few mechs, so I thought I'd go with the Microfighter. And it's going to be a controversial one. It's the anniversary of Empire Strikes Back as well as... Now I've got to see if I can remember them all. The Force Awakens, Revenge of the Sith, Empire Strikes Back. There's the Mando and Grogu movie. I think it's also five years since the Mandalorian came to everyone but the US. And also that means Clone Wars Season 7 is turning five. It'd be lovely to get some sort of diorama or set from that. That we do already have quite a few of the minifigures and i'm pretty sure there's something i am missing so i'll leave all the anniversaries on screen for you now and i've gone with empire strikes back for this microfighter because you may remember we've already got a han microfighter with a falcon in fact we've got two han solo falcon microfighters and then we got chewbacca i would love to get a lando falcon microfighter and i've already got a customer of the figure I just really would love for LEGO to release another Falcon Microfighter and this time include Lando Calrissian who at the end of Empire Strikes Back when Han's in Carbonite, when Luke and Leia are chilling on the Nebulon Frigate with R2-D2 with C-3PO. I think it's the perfect place to give us an official Lando wearing Han's clothes because originally Lando was meant to take over from Han. I actually spoke to someone in the comments that originally, originally Lando was meant to be one of the templates or one of the clones from one of the many legions from the clone wars and if you don't know about george lucas's original idea from the clone wars that is worth a read because that is very different to the clone wars we got now on to the first battle pack i've gone with two battle packs one at the 20 pound range and one at the 25 pound range and just so i didn't forget any of them when recording this video because there are 11 sets there's 10 that I would really like to see and a bonus one that I had to whack at the end, which is probably the less likely of the bunch, but it would definitely have been the best if these get made. The first battle pack at the £20 price range, I don't think they'll go any cheaper, is a Galactic Marines battle pack. These are the clone troopers that were with Kiadi Mundi. We don't need Kiadi Mundi, I want just the Galactic Marines in this one. And I think it'd make a great battle pack. It's something that so many fans have wanted for so long and so many customs have been made. We've seen so many other companies attempt to fill this hole and now it's time for LEGO to release an official version for the anniversary of Revenge of the Sith. We haven't got too much prequel love recently. I mean, for The Phantom Menace, I think we've got two play sets and a diorama so i would love to see some more phantom menace sets i don't think it's happening so they can definitely fill in with the revenge of the siths next year revenge of the sith is definitely a more popular movie than phantom menace and i'm pretty sure these battle packs would sell so quickly another reason why i'm theming all the battle packs after clone troopers is because this year we got the clone versus droid one and then they went with a Mandalorian battle pack, the Mandalore Ambush, which I know loads of people are enjoying the brief break from clones, but I think Revenge of the Sith, they dive straight back into it. And then the following year, they can give us an Imperial battle pack. And perhaps we can even have a year without clone troopers. Now, I did say this is battle pack one of two. So the second one is a £25 battle pack. It can come with a few more droids than the other one. I don't think the Galactic Marines necessarily will come with any droids. So we can get some droids in this. I'd also like a bit of scenery because I've gone with 
Ayla Secura's 327th Legion Clone Trooper Battle Pack or Clones Android Battle Pack. And I would like to see Ayla Secura in it. I think if we're paying £25 for a Battle Pack, I wouldn't mind if we did get a Jedi in it. And I know it's going to be a figure that loads of people are going to have to then sell on Bricklink later because you can't really army build with it. I think whacking Ayla Secura in it, even like a Commander Blind minifigure and then two or three other 327th clones just helps to recreate that battle a bit better than if they missed out them figures. Now straight on to the £30 playset. We've seen quite a few of these recently. I think the most recent I can remember is the Yoda Starfighter that is on shelves. And if that's retiring this year, that's a great time to completely switch it up back to the anniversary of Empire Strikes Back. I think we need another snow speeder. The last snow speeder I remember getting was, well, I think we got one in the 2019 20th anniversary, and that was five years ago. That was probably on shelves for two, three years, but it's been a few years since we've got a snow speeder. And the 8080 UCS set is still on shelf, so we definitely need another speeder. The last one was actually good enough to just re release in perhaps a recolor. I think it was white and gray, or that might have been the one before it. But if they slightly update it, give us another snow speeder, and perhaps we can even get one without pilot Luke. Of course, it's going to include Luke and his co pilot. They're more popular characters, and if they whack Luke in there, and perhaps even a bonus minifigure like another Leia Hoth figure or someone like that. They can definitely sell a few more of them. I'd love to get a snow speeder, perhaps with two pilots. And because it's £30, I wouldn't mind a Hoth Trooper in that as well because we've got to get our Hoth Troopers somehow. They've given us a massive UCS set. The Snow Trooper Battle Pack has actually retired now. So perhaps we do another one of them very soon. And it's a lot of back and forth between Empire Strikes Back and Revenge of the Sith because we are going back to Utapau this time. Now the ATTE is probably gonna end up retiring this year, which is a shame. I'd like to see it extend another year for the anniversary of Revenge of the Sith. And there's always a chance that Lego decide to do that because they know it's gonna be a very popular set for some people perhaps outside of Lego that haven't already bought it. But a set we need remade is the TSMEU, the Snoo 6, which is Grievous's Will, which looks really, really cool. You saw it in the thumbnail. And I personally would like this at about a £35 range. I think that gives them enough pieces to work with the wheel, get it quite accurate, as well as for that price tag lining up to one of their minifigure scales, be it 135, 145. I really don't mind, but recently we've seen quite a few around that 145, which of course is definitely my preferred scale to work with. Now this set should come with about three figures, again, 35 pound. We're seeing a lot more of these sets match up their figures to the price. So the recent 50 pound Ahsoka sets coming with five mini figures will ignore the Desert Skiff. That is definitely a set that the more I look at, the more I question how that got made, but the Smooth 6, I'm pretty sure there's a quicker way to pronounce that, would probably come with a Kenobi, not in his Mustafar outfit, we would like a proper Utapau Kenobi this time, a Grievous, and though it would be really cool to get one of the Powans that are around the same species as the Grand Inquisitor, I would prefer to get a 212 Airborne clone because if we take another look at my clone display, it is the only one that I am missing. So I think I could sacrifice that third minifigure for the 212 Airborne and complete my clone collection. So I'd like an identical version to the one we got a few years ago. And perhaps for £35, if they don't give us a wheel that matches up to that price, they could include a little rock or something for him to hide behind. On to the £45 set. This is based off a much older set we got, but the Battle of Mustafar, they have to acknowledge it in some way. I'm pretty sure about five, four years ago is when we got the little battle set with Kenobi and Anakin, and that was really, really cool. So I am going to change this a little bit because £45 is very close to the £50 that the new Ahsoka Play Rama is styled at. Again, there is a video on that if you want to know my thoughts. But I'd like a scene somewhat like this with a small bit outside for Anakin and Kenobi to be dueling, and perhaps a few Separatist leaders on the inside that Anakin can twirl his lightsaber around and show the 
cool tricks that he's picked up. But I think this would make a great playset, even if they made it a bit more framey and a bit larger. This would be really, really cool. And I wouldn't like a diorama of this, even though it looked really, really cool. It'd be too similar to the last set we got, which felt like the start of the dioramas. And actually, it'd be really cool if the dioramas could split open and then you could display them in a strip rather than their base. But that is a conversation for another time. The 50 pound set I've actually built and mocked out on this channel, and that is a buildable Minoc. I feel like we get a load of buildable droids. You can see BD-1 is chilling behind me, but we're not getting many with an actual function. The big R2-D, 250 pound, does have a few accessories that can pop out, but these smaller ones, they have the odd stim canisters and the odd little bits, but I would like saying to crank the wings flap or perhaps a few of the droid parts move and it's definitely something they could have looked at for the buildable droids. Obviously, it would have upped the price tag even more, and they're expensive enough as it is. But if you do want to check out my buildable Minoc, I won't take any more time of this video. I'll leave the link in the description and on the end screen for you to check out. £60. Now, onto the Force Awakens. Of course, there's not been much love for the sequel since the movies come out. And I think we're still at the period, like we've just after the prequels, whereas Lego was releasing quite a few sets and probably is responsible for loads of us having very fond memories of the prequels growing up. There's not been that much for the sequels. It needs the next movie. It needs the next show. We had the Resistance TV show, but we need a Clone Wars for the sequels. They just haven't found it yet, so I expect to see a load more in the future. But next year, it would be nice if they did touch upon the 10 years of The Force Awakens, because that is quite a long time. I mean, that is two thirds of the time I've spent collecting these Lego bricks. But for The Force Awakens, I would like them to revisit the first scene with a troop transport. They released a 80 pound troop transport, I think it was, when the movie came out. And that came with Phasma, but I think that only came with Rebel and First Order Troopers. I'd like a few more named characters here because we are looking at that £60 price tag. I would like six minifigures. They might do five, but I would like to see Phasma. I'd also like to see Law Santeca. Both minifigures I didn't pick up and Kylo Ren. Now, this is a very special Kylo Ren because since The Force Awakens, we got the Moss Isley. It was after The Force Awakens, long after The Force Awakens, the Moss Isley Cantina and they included the Imperial Spy with a regular hood and a face piece that sort of went separate. I'll take mine apart and put some photos on screen so you can see. I'd like that, but for Kylo Ren to take the front of his mask and put it so that you've got a black hood over the top. If they want, Lego can go out of the way and create some helmet piece to go over it, but I just like the faceplate with the hood. I think that'd be really, really cool, and it would also be a really, really cool feature that might get some customs looking at a similar thing for Darth Revan. Anyway, Kylo Ren, Phasma, Lawson Tekka, two or three stormtroopers. We've got to have something to fill the troop transport. And the reason I'm saying two or three and I'm really not fussed about that third troop is because in the original playset, I think you can only fit about four minifigures in it. This one's going to be quite a bit smaller. I mean, it's half the price. It's probably going to be half the size and would just be a little set. We don't want to cost Lego too much, but a troop transport also shows up in the Mandalorian. And I think we've seen it in another show. I don't know where, perhaps it showed up in the Bad Batch. So I would love to get my hands on one. I'd probably end up buying a few if it was a smaller one to try and make it minifigure scout, but we can fit Kylo Ren, Phasma and the two troopers in the vehicle, perhaps have another little slot so they can hold Law Santeca prisoner. But there's really not enough love from Lego for the sequels. Personally, I don't mind it. It means I get more sets with clones. But let me know if you would like to see Lego make some more sequel sets in the comments. It's five years this year since The Rise of Skywalker, and I would love to get a diorama based on one of the best scenes from the entire trilogy. I've seen a few different companies try and make a diorama of this. It is Ray Skywalker's Duel on Exocall. The reason I've named it like that, very similar to the Ahsoka one again, because I think for £60, they definitely could include Palp's Throne and a Ray Skywalker minifigure, and then include one of the 
I don't know if they're Palpatine's Praetorians, I don't really know what they are, but the Red Guardians that protect Palpatine and fight Rey. And then we could get a Ben Solo and a Knight of Ren minifigure. In fact, I'd love for them to bring back the Knights of Ren because I really wanted to collect them when the sets were coming out, but didn't have the money to pick up all the sets they were in. So one day perhaps I'll have to revisit them and try and buy it all. Five. A diorama for The Rise of Skywalker is the best thing that LEGO can do. I don't think children are necessarily going to be too attached to the movie yet to release a ton of playsets like they are with the original trilogy, which explains why LEGO are focusing on that, and especially with Empire Strikes Anniversary, Empire Strikes Back Anniversary. Every time I say that, I seem to drop the back, so it's Empire Strikes. I think I even called it Empire Strikes Boba at one point. I'd love to see a duel on x School though, especially to get a Palpatine minifigure, and we could get a Ben Solo as well. They could put a few new minifigures in here, like the Palpatine Praetorian, which I'm going to call them. We've seen Snoke's Praetorian, we've seen Moff Gideon's Praetorian. we got to complete the collection with them really cool Imperial Guards almost. They're like the updated Imperial Guards. I guess they're the Final Order Guards doesn't really sound the same. But I definitely think a Ray Ben Palps, perhaps a Final Order Guard instead of a Knight of Ren, and then we could have our very first Force Ghost Lego minifigure in Luke Skywalker. It makes sense to include Luke Skywalker here. Perhaps we'll get Qui-Gon in a Kenobi or Clone Wars set some point in the future. Now that is wishful thinking. And then if they ever go back and revisit the Endor Ewok village, like I said, I'd love a diorama on that. They could include Anakin, Kenobi and Yoda on that. They could also just include Palps and like four Force Ghosts. We could get Luke, we could get, who were the other voices? We could get, the only problem with it is whilst they were able to speak to Rey through the Force, not many, if any, of the others were able to actually manifest themselves. Qui-Gon was only able to manifest himself. I'm going on a whole Star Wars tangent here. Qui-Gon was only able to manifest himself on planets that were so strong with the Force. I think Yoda and Kenobi are the only ones to have seen it. And because Tatooine had so much life, there was such a connection to the Force, Qui-Gon was able to show up to Kenobi. We then got the original three from the original trilogy, Luke and... We don't really know Ahsoka's whereabouts, so it's not like she could be included. So I guess I'll go with Ray Ben Palps, the Final Order Imperial Praetorian Guard, and a Force Ghost Luke Skywalker, though I would love to get my hands on the Knights of Rent one day. Maybe they can do another diorama and just include it where they, where they stood on the rock and just looked out for that one cool scene. All right, the sequels are over, as in, well, of course, the movies come out, what, five years ago, which is why we're celebrating the anniversary, but also we are moving back into the prequels, Revenge of the Sith, Order 66, give me more Lego. 90 to 150 pound, because we all know that my price estimates tend to be a lot lower than Lego's actual, but we're gonna stick with a 90 pound, but this is in the range of 90 to 150, a Arc 170 and Plo Koon's Delta, similar to the TIE Advance and the Fang Fighter, which came in a two pack, that was 90 quid, X-Wing and TIE, 90 quid, August 1st, don't forget about that. And for next year, I think everyone really wants an ARC 170. They're not going to remake the set with Pong Krell, so we're probably not going to get a Pong Krell. But this is the perfect place to have a clone pilot. And then we'll also have the ARC 170 Plo's Delta, they've got to include a Plo Koon, but... These sets are including four minifigures, so we could get a Commander Wolf and a Wolfpack Trooper on top of both of these, and wouldn't that just be the perfect set? And there's really not much more to say on that, I think everything is said. So LEGO, if you are watching, I think that is the set alongside the 212 Airborne clone, that is the set that I most want from this list. We're getting a bit more pricey here, we're up to £200, there is one more set after this, which is a Master Builders series. So with that in mind, it's not too pricey compared to the rest, but this is a UCS set at £200. I mentioned Mandalorian and Grogu's movie is coming out next year. Well, at least it's meant to be. We've still no sign of Skeleton Crew, which I think was meant to originally be autumn or winter last year. So hopefully we get some news on that soon because we do have the Skeleton ship, the Onyx Cinder, I believe it's called, Lego set meant to be releasing around that time. But from the Mando and Grogu movie, I'd like some updated printing based on their designs in the movie. 
Mandalorian will probably look roughly the same, but I'd like to see some updated robes, armor, something for Grogu. And if we got a printed Beskar round signet thing that Grogu wears underneath his top or the chain mouth, that would look really really cool i don't really know what else they could do for the characters in way of updated designs but i'd love to see it nonetheless and hopefully we get a lego version to correspond anyway the ucs set is the n1 mando's n1 i think loads of people have been building their own customs it makes sense because they've just done the mando razor crest which did blow up by the time we got the UCS set. So hopefully the same fate isn't met by the N1. But the N1 also attracts prequel fans from Phantom Menace, which we didn't get an N1 this year. They must be working on another N1. We've already got the playset and we've already got the microfighter, so they can only go bigger unless they do what they did with Boba's fire spray and give us a MIDI version. But I don't really see how that would work considering the set that they've got out is something like 50 pound when the last boba fire spray was pretty much double that if not more so i'd love to see a ucs n1 and last but not least 300 pound we've got the master builders series jedi temple that would be awesome now it wouldn't be a full jedi temple i don't want something that looks good on display like the hogwarts castle and ground or the pyramid which is still half a pyramid but that does look pretty cool on display i want the front of the temple, I want the steps for the emotional Ahsoka scene. For the 501st March, I want some statues out front. I want the sort of immediate interior into the temple. And perhaps, depending on how high they end up building it, we can have a few different rooms similar to the Yavin playset at that £90 mark. But of course, we've got so many more bricks for the £300 plus price tag. I'd love to see what LEGO do with the Jedi Temple. So. That is all the sets that I am predicting for next year. Come back next year, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out and see how many of these I get correct and how many of these are so far off the mark. I'll do another video next year, hopefully comparing once we've got all the sets that we know we're going to get from Star Wars. I'll compare this list and see how accurate I was, at least with the pricing of some of these sets. But after the Desert Skiff, we really don't know how LEGO are going to be pricing these. So these could be double. Some of these could actually be cheaper and be made in smaller sets. I look forward to finding out. Don't forget, if you did enjoy this video, do smash like. It really is the best way to help the channel and subscribe so you don't miss out on finding if any of these sets actually are given to us next year. That is all for today. Don't forget to check out the videos on the end screen and may the bricks be with you always.